Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you an overview, how to play and play through of Agueda. This is a game that's coming to Kickstarter very soon, along with Donut Shop and Color Field, which we've covered on our channel previously. So if you want to check those out, you could see um, the how to play and play through videos of those. They are all prototypes. Um, they're all going to be offered on the same Kickstarter. And I believe that is coming very soon. There's no date on the Kickstarter, so we will put the link so you can follow it so you'll get updates of, of when it launches. Um, so basically, this is a game where you are collecting and placing umbrellas on your player board, uh, trying to fill, basically, trying to gain the most points by collecting certain types of, well, colors of umbrellas, unlocking your um, more of your tourist meeples and turning over your mural tiles by collecting certain colors of umbrellas and putting them on the correct spot with little paintbrushes. So I will go over that in just a moment, but that's like a brief overview. Very easy to learn, very, very simple to learn game. Um, there's a lot of strategy in this game. You're, you're gonna be planning your moves ahead based on um, the umbrellas that are out there at the moment and the uh, public objection cards, which are called shop shop cards. Um, so you're just trying to get the most points by the end of the game. So I'm going to show you uh, how to set up and play the game, and then we'll get started on a playthrough. So first you will start with placing your market board in the center of the table, and you're going to randomly draw two, two shop cards out of the, there's a stack of them, you're gonna randomly draw two of them, put them face up, and place your three random shop tokens on top of those cards. Then you're gonna put the remaining three shop tokens on the card, the Agueda, Agueda Souvenirs card. And that's not a card, that's actually part of the board, but it looks like a card. Then you'll put um, all the other cards, shop cards back in the box because this is all you're going to be using. Then you're going to randomly add umbrella tokens to the board starting from top row, left or right until that is to all the spaces are filled. You're going to put all your coins. These are the metal coins that are obviously part of the deluxe version. Um, you're going to put all the coins here in the bank section. And then you're going to put each player's scoring token in the starting space on the market board. We're playing a two player game, so we only have two markers there. Then for each player, you give them their player board, their scoring marker that they've already placed on the market board, their mural tiles, the tourist meeples, and the tourist tiles. You're gonna place your tourist meeples on these three spots with a little camera on them. And then you're gonna place the three meeples here on the luggage. And these three spots are open for when you unlock your remaining tourist meeples. Here is where you place your tourist tiles in any order on the board. These will be switching throughout the game, so it doesn't matter. You're gonna place your mural tiles and you wanna be sure and look at the picture on the back and try to get the picture. Um, you could see the, the, this, mine's not as uh, obvious as this one, but you wanna try to get the picture so when you flip them over, it creates a mural. Each player gets two coins that they will be using to buy umbrellas. I will cover that in a moment. And that is your, that is the setup. It's a very easy setup. Okay, and as you notice on the player board, they it has a player eight on the bottom. So on your turn, you're gonna be picking umbrellas from the market board, placing umbrellas on your player board, updating your murals. If you covered any paintbrushes, whatever color umbrella you covered on that paintbrush, you get to flip over that mural card. If it's already flipped over, you don't do anything and then you attract one or two tourists. If you do one, you just place it on one of your tourist tiles and you pick one of the two colors. If you happen to have that umbrella, that color umbrella, say I picked purple, you get one point. 
If I picked orange, I would get two points. You also can attract two tourists, but you have to place them on the same tourist tile. In this instance, you get the points for any in that row that match both colors. So in this, this instance, I would get three points to score on the market board. And again, the player who has the most points at the end of the game wins. So that's basically the setup. And here I will tell you how to play the more in depth how to play. So when you're picking umbrellas, if you pick a, a you're picking diagonal rows and they could go this way or this way. Um, if you're picking a row of three, it costs you one coin. So you have to pay one of your coins to the bank. If you pick a row of two, it costs nothing, but you don't gain anything. You don't gain or lose any coins. If you pick one one that only has one umbrella in that row, you gain a coin, so you get to take a coin from the bank. So that's how you gain coins. You take these on the end, only have one umbrella. You gain a coin, that'll allow you to get a row of three on a future turn. Um, to place umbrellas, you have to place them from left to right on one row at a time. So each turn, say if you've got three umbrellas, you have to place them all on the same row. So you pick one of your three rows and you place your umbrellas you, you obtained that round left to right. And if you happen to cover a umbrella, say I, say I picked this row here, I would pay my one coin. And so purple is the one that covered the paintbrush. I would turn over my purple mural tile. Then after that happens, I can then pull down one or two tourists and I'm gonna score on both colors, I would score two points. You also can take a break. If you can't or don't want to pull one of your tourist tokens, you take a break. So you put all your meeples back off of the tourist tiles. You take the bottom one, slide all these down, and put the bottom one on the top. So you can see they're always gonna be shifting. So you can kind of plan ahead a few turns because you know where they're gonna go. Um, when you're and you're the one choosing to move them based on what colors and what you have in those rows. The way to unlock these meeples, when you happen to turn over two murals on the same row, that unlocks that meeple and you put it up here on this briefcase. So now you have four tourist meeples available to use. And you can use this one right away as soon as you obtain it. Your goal is to unlock all of them. So one more thing, if if you happen, say you have, say this row is, you have only two left in this row and you decide to get this row of three umbrellas because you want these two colors really bad. You have this one left that you can't place, that goes back in the bag. You can't, it doesn't, you can't place it in a different row. You can only place your umbrellas each turn in one row and they just go back in the bag. At the end of your turn, I didn't cover that. You will, so at the, at the end of your turn, you refill the market board from left to right, top to bottom. So you just draw more from the bag and you refill it and then it's the next person's turn. Um, and at the end of the game, the scoring is very easy. You get additional points based on the bottom of these shop cards, what the, the objective is. This one, if you have an even number of the umbrella in this color on, each of, on your board, each score one point. So if you have two, four, six, eight, ten of the purples, you get one point for each purple if you have an even number. If you have three, five, seven, you get no points. This one, you score one point for each column that has at least one umbrella of these colors. So red or orange for each column that has a red or an orange umbrella in it, at least one, you get one point for that column. These, any yellow, green, or blue umbrellas, you add them all up and divide by two, and that's the points you get. Um, so if you have 10 
total of those three colors, you would get five points at the end of the game. Um, then your lastly, you score points for your mural tokens. If you have at least four turned over, and all this is on the bottom of the board, you get two victory points. If you have five turned over, you get four victory points. If you have six turned over, you will get the max of six victory points for that. After you, and if you have any empty spaces at the end of the game, when someone, the game ends when someone has filled in all of their spots on their market board, the other players get one more turn. If you have any empty spots left, you get minus one victory point for each empty spot. Um, but you will be pretty even when we were playing. We, it was pretty even. Um, I ended up, Anthony did, I, I went out first, but he did end up finishing filling his market board on his next turn because it was pretty, we were pretty much pretty evenly pulling the umbrellas off. The way you would have a lot left if you were just pulling one or like the one umbrella and gaining coins a lot, you're going to be behind because, um, to me, I, I pulled a lot of the three umbrellas. It seems like more than anything. I, if, when I run out of coins, I would gain one coin so I could get more umbrellas. Um, there is a lot of strategy to this game. So that is basic, that is the how to play. It's very simple, very easy to learn. Um, just a lot of strategy. So now we're gonna do a full playthrough of the game. And remember, this is a prototype, so it might slightly change um, the final version. Um, and again, that will be available on Kickstarter soon, along with Color Field and Donut Shop, right? Okay, so I'm going to go first. So I begin my turn with picking some umbrellas. I do have two coins, so I kind of want to optimize. Oh, these back from when I was showing how to play it. Okay, all right, so... I'm going to pay one coin to grab these three umbrellas. Okay, so the green landed on a paintbrush, so I'm going to turn over my green mural tile. And then I'm going to actually attract two meeples. You have to put them on the same tourist tile because there's a green and a blue, so I get one, two points. And then I'm going to refill from top to bottom, left to right, and it's Anthony's turn. He's only going to attract one meeple, and he'll get two points for his two purples. Okay, so I unlocked my red mural tile. And I'm gonna take a break. Forget you can put the umbrellas in any order you want as you pick yes, them up right now. Any order. They just have to go left to right. Okay. All right, my turn. Let's see. And 
points. Unlock my blue. Which gives me another tourist meeple. I'm going to attract two tourists. And I get one, two, three points. My turn. Mm -hmm. Gonna break. Yep. Your turn. Can I refill that? Oh. Not really score me points. So I'm taking a break. Okay. I have to the board. You get five or three? I don't know. I think you were at four, weren't you? I was a couple ahead of you. I don't know. I don't expect four. <laughs> I knocked it down. I was a couple ahead of you. I think you were at three, Mom, but you at four. This is what happens playing with a band. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Turn over my yellow. You gotta expect klutziness. <laughs> and I'm gonna attract one tourist. Well, these sleeves, they. Wait, not there. What am I gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna take a break. Wait, 
Did I do that wrong? No. Yeah, I didn't do it right. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to slide up. I did it the opposite way. Okay. You gotta add a... All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Break. Got me feeling it. Spin my coin. Take this three. Eight. Purple. Okay, and then I'm going to call attract two meeples, tourists, and I get points for my purple and orange. Ugh. So one, two, three, four points. So I get five points. I'll take this green one. Keep going. Attract one tourist to get two points. Oh, you put the same color on two of them? Yeah. So, okay, so I put that there. Okay. So he makes a mistake and put the two the same color on. There's exactly six paintbrushes on your market board. So if you cover up, if you don't vary in color, you're not going to be able to pull, turn over all your mural tiles. I've been amused by the clumsiness that distracted me. <laughs> Really, a knockable <laughs> one thing. Okay, so I got that, so I'm just gonna score, I guess. Your turn. The max points for my murals unlocked another tourist and I'm gonna pull this one down and I'll get 
three points. Here, this one goes back in the bag. I'm going to take a break. Take a break. This blue one. Okay, not that it matters. This one is my. Two tourists, one, two, three, three points, and neck and neck. And he gets one more turn because I filled yeah. my board. This is his last chance. So now that's in the game. So now we do our scoring. So for our murals, I get six points because I flipped all mine over. So that would be 25. Anthony did 
for his, so he only gets two points. Then we score for... Um, I did five. Oh, you did. That one went blank. So you get three points. Four points. Is it four? Five. Four. Okay. We're tied. Okay. Then um, we do, we score the objectives. So I have an even amount of purple, so I get one point for each one, so that's four points. He has six, right? Mm hmm Okay. Then um, this one, I did achieve that. If I have at least one of those colors in each column, I have a red and an orange in each column. There's seven columns. I get seven points. So, like six. One, two, three, four. I think it's four points. Okay, then this one, we count up all of our yellows, greens, and blues and divide by two. yourself. <laughs> what do you get? Divide by two. I so have nine, so I get four points. I get five points. Wow. So we tied. So in the, because uh, none of the rabbits have empty spots, so in the event of a tie, least empty spaces, we tie there, most completed mural. So I won based on the mural. <laughs> so it's, both games we played, it was a tight game. Oh yeah, very tight game. He won the first one, I don't remember how much. It was like a couple points. A couple, it was like four or five. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. So. Hopefully this video helped you to decide whether this is a game you'd want to add to your collection. Again, this will be on Kickstarter along with Color Field and Donut Shop. We, our favorite of the three is definitely Donut Shop. Yeah, Donut Shop's pretty cool. Donut Shop was really fun. Um, so, and I don't know if the, the ours came with little donut hats, which is pretty cool. I'm mm. assuming the final version will probably come with that mm. too, which is kind of makes it even cooler but all three of those games will be available on the kickstarter so we have all three videos on our channel you can check out all of them see um which if you want all of them or just one of them um these so. are all like pretty much uh, penal, uh middleweight family games so mm -hmm. these are really easy to teach learn and play yeah and they're not they don't they're not a lot of setup and so Definitely these are great family games. Mm -hmm. So we will put the link in the description so you can follow the Kickstarter. Um, thank you for watching. Please give us a like. Feel free to leave a comment. Uh, we hope you're already subscribed, but if not, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching again, and we look forward to seeing you next time.